G'day, Andrew Murray here from the Apartment Specialists talking about apartment evaluations. Now, what I'm talking about here is registered valuations. So this is when you get a valuer to do a valuation and you pay them a sum of money, around, generally around about $500, to do a valuation on your apartment. Now, they're generally wrong. They're generally too high or too low. And being fair, I'm not saying that the valuers are doing anything wrong. But it's what they have to go on to do the valuations. You see, valuations are always looking backwards. And especially with apartments, this can make a huge, well, it's a huge problem. Because, for example, I'll see a bank value or, or a valuer go and do a valuation on an apartment, and the st sales statistics he's looking at are two months old. Because apartments that are sold today won't show up on the statistics for about two months. And then often, they'll be looking at a building, right, because there's over 300, 400 buildings in Auckland CBD and the fringes, where the particular building hasn't had its movement. So another building that is, is almost identical, just, you know, a few streets away, is selling for, say, $50,000 more. And the car apartment complex, which the valuer is doing their valuation in, the prices, or well, there hasn't been many sales, or the previous sales were under pressure or they were you know, mortgage auctions or, or something like that. So the statistics they've got to work with don't show the situations under which the apartments are sold. And this for, for an agent is a very exact science because I'm dealing with apartments that are exactly the same. If I've got apartments in, in a building and they all look the same, I know what they're worth. So when we were, we're a valuer, they've got to come in in value, I mean, there's over 24, 25,000 apartments, and how are they supposed to know? And then there's very few valuers who actually are very experienced with apartments on top of that. Most of them just do houses. So what I'm sort of saying here is just be aware with your valuations. They can come up too high, too low, and just, I suppose, when you're dealing with a valuer, ask them to compare the sales prices in other buildings that are comparable. And an easy way of doing that is to ask a, a, an agent or a, a colleague, uh, the valuer's colleague, on, or maybe ring up a, a property manager on what apartment complexes are similar. Because size is not always similar because you have one with a different layout, some buildings are a bit of different quality, uh, that kind of thing. Anyway, I hope that helps. It's a bit of an insight into valuations and how difficult it is for these, these valuers to, to actually know where to value these apartments, especially in a moving market, because it's changing all the time. Anyway, I hope that helps. Andrew Murray, apartment specialist. Cheers.